that's particular here with the students we're working with is that they have mostly a ballet background. We feel nervous because we are ballerinas and ballet dancers. Then uh, we met you and we really relaxed and have really good experience for us. When you start dancing, everything looks so possible. Then you push up your borders a lot, so it's really good to like poke those beautiful creative uh, side of your body, your mind. They respond with fear and they respond with reluctance because dance is something that you practice so much. What you know is what you do. So until a, a third of the class is over, then they start to know it. And then they're not naming it with something that they already have experienced, but the experience of the class is now new knowledge. So they're fearful and reluctant and hesitant, and then they're hungry and they want it more and more and more. This is some workshop about uh, how to make relation. We try to connect uh, people each other, how to relation between without language and how to work together. It's such a perfect mix of uncertainty and curiosity just coming together and then by the end we're all just laughing and hugging. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> they saw the American guys also playing game like them. If they know the people they're not afraid anymore. I like to think of what uh, DDD does as kinetic diplomacy. I find that the ability to touch another human being's skin and to get them moving, moving together in counterpoint, learning from their dances, and then teaching what we know from our cultural heritage of American modern dance is just a brilliant way to make the most of a self. Normal bir insanı anlayabilmeye yarıyor yani. Herkes engelli anlayamaz ama engelli sağlam insan anlayabilir. Dans ederken veya yürürken, düşünürken iyi olan insan daha iyi anlayabilir yani. The playfulness in the room that we built from the get-go was fantastic. And I think both groups learned a lot. Tolga, one of the, uh, the guys in the group, was in a serious car accident. Our own Simon was in a serious car accident. And I was watching Simon um, fool around on, the, on so one of the dentures' crutches. And it was kind of amazing, and I thought, wait, is this like taking advantage of this moment? Because he really is able-bodied, and yet he has this history. And we were talking about the notion of, of the body being temporary today and the soul being the permanent part. So this notion of body as fluid and with respect, an able-bodied dancer can get in a wheelchair and try it out. Everybody can do everything because after all, it is a dance. Herkes dans edebilir, dans engel tanımaz. Bir engelliyle dans edebilmeyi göstermek and it really was like a big <laughs> recreation center with a lot of different um, what one could consider props but actually they're kind of necessary vehicles for this kind of dancing and we have our vehicles and and they had their vehicles and we traded vehicles <laughs>
Iki Farkla Ampu Hakim Dakyel Hikaye Ye Duya Denizmo Bu Sadege Bir Fikir Biri Yanet Sana Biri Kapanir Do you think it's better if a light, light bulb flickers before it goes out? Or do you think it's better if a light, light bulb just goes out? In Impending Joy, uh, the first piece on the program, when we do do a uh, formal performance, um, has these white pickets that we pass around to the audience before the show, and they complete uh, the sentence, this is where. And I love the sense of pickets representing a border, a home, a security, kind of uh, keeping good things in and bad things out. All the things that you kind of strive for in your life, but are also a little bit um, off-putting because they are made to keep people away from you. And the pickets have a point on them. They can easily become weapons, swords, sticks, even guns. So we kind of have both those meanings in the dance that we do. Modernized performance and American dancers. He's unusual. <laughs> they were really serious. They were, they were, their body was talking. We come in and we're moving with angles and we're sort of angry and then we're happy and then we're sad. There's a look of confusion. The culture is a bit different uh, than the Turkish culture, uh, but to show uh, them was really nice for me. What's really fantastic is when they start to get it. And so they start to laugh and they start to see what we're doing and how our relationships are. They were just so gracious and so supportive of this thing that's so foreign to them. Because no matter where you are, your relationship to another person it can be read uh, with body language. Dance can surprise you in your body every day when you're a dancer. It's just so interesting. It's such a beautiful way of interacting with, a, with another human being. So within the culture and with the other cultures, I think it just brings you together. The dancers really were taking risks. And he encouraged me to move with the dancers that I've never seen before. It was the first time I, I met them and I was like, ah, oh, dancing like, for example, a year. Dance for me is a never-ending journey. That's the way of self-expression. A big embrace of thanks to all your wonderful friends for sharing this space. And